Hello, welcome to Zim Capture. Zim at zimjs.com is an open source library to help you code interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. I'm inventor Dan Zen, and please excuse my grobly voice. Yeah, I was out at a color festival yesterday where they throw powdered color on you. And then in the hot sun of the Dundas Cactus Festival, Oh yeah, so this is Capture Zero. How exciting is that? What we've done is a bunch of captures already, and this time I'd like to focus on why we use Zim, so I've decided to insert it right at the very beginning. Wow, cool, let's take a look. In the beginning, we had the traditional text-optimized box world of the DOM. That stands for Document Object Model. And that's using HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and jQuery, the traditional web, to make information, sites, etc. But now welcome to the draw-optimized, freeform, graphical canvas world. Ta-da! Where we have Zim Interactive Media Modules. These are powered by CreateJS, Easel, Preload, Tween, SoundJS on the BOM, the bitmap object model. Let's see what we can make with it. Coloring apps. Easy shapes and colors and even multi-user with SimSocket. Dynamic drawing from pixel art apps to smooth ribbons with damping. Ooh. Puzzles with button, dial, slider components. Drag and drop and hit tests. Swipes and parallax, so pages with responsive layouts and parallax based on the mouse movement or your scrolling. Games for mobile or desktop with animation, sound, and data. And more. Configurators, specifications for, say, making your kitchen or avatars to take you into space. Collages. Interactive logos and ads. This is an animated, snappable, trackable Zim site logo. Down here is an engaging ad. And both of these have been distilled to 14K in Zim. So where does all that fit in the taxonomy of interactive media? This has been generalized and simplified. We start off with why, what, where, how, when. Oh, when is now? Who? Who is you? Yes! So why do we make interactive media? Well, we do it for information's sake, for social play, education, art, simulation. What do we make? In general, the three big ones, we make sites, apps, and games. Sites can be brochure sites showing you information that we need. Interactives with insights or interactive beyond navigation. Apps can be service apps like mm, getting your news or locating your taxi. And products, so tools that make products. Games, text 2D and 3D. And I'll describe these colors in just a sec. So where? On the web, mobile, physical computing, like wearable computing or computing for your plants, or who knows, car. AR, augmented reality, mixed reality, virtual reality. These all three making mediated reality. And how do we make it? So we've broken up how we make interactive media into two camps, the text-optimized camp, of the DOM with HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and jQuery, and the draw optimized with the BOM with Canvas, JavaScript, CreateJS, and Zim. So on the DOM side, we tend to have fluid text and images, so they'll wrap around and so forth. Forms, tags, audio, video, less integrated, so you just play the video, and the actions indeed are navigate to press on that play button, swipe hide and show things, animate the, the interface perhaps, and submit things. So that's the DOM, the traditional HTML side. 
the BOM, the bitmap object model side, we have fluid images. We're actually changing the bitmaps live, dynamically. Text, components, containers, sound, and animation. Actions are dragging, dropping, hit tests, scaling, rotating, so much more free form, animating, navigating, still as well, adding, removing things, caching, masking. So this is the bomb. Let's take a look at what these are suited for making then. And that's the colors here. So the orange color of the DOM, great for making brochure laying out, laying out sites, super. The bomb is probably better suited for interactive beyond, na beyond navigation, where you're actually building things, navigating or dragging, dropping with interfaces beyond navigation. The app side on the services where you're showing information probably better with the dom for sure so a list a list of movies etc where we're building something where we're making a tool to arrange your own scenes and, and that type of thing we're probably better suited for the bomb bitmap object model side in games text-based games fine with the dom 2d games certainly better with draw optimized bomb now if we get into 3d uh, for mixed reality, virtual reality, or 3D games, probably something like Unity is, is better off. There are their JavaScript libraries, but our, our bomb. We do parallax, which is a form of fake 3D in a sense, and um, so forth. So that's a context. Let's now look more specifically at the draw optimized side and take a look at some metrics. So how long does it take us to build things if we are given certain starting points or tasks already? So if we need JavaScript, and if we're given the variables, conditions, loops, functions, arrays, and objects, the programming language, as well as the canvas basics of fills, strokes, lines, recs, curves, and arcs, then it will take us, if we only have this, it will take us this long to build. CreateJS helps us organize that and simplify things, as well as gives us extra things. So here we have the stage, the container, and shapes and bitmaps. This is the bomb, the bitmap object model, text and sound, and the events to handle that, the great events that we're given, tweens and hit tests and filters. So if, we're, if we now have the CreateJS library, the time to build our interactive media is here. Doop, less time. Zim takes CreateJS and adds components like buttons, panes, labels, sliders, dials, pickers, pads, tabs, grids, drag, and drag and drop. One line drag and drop. All sorts of types of hit tests, so multiple types of hit tests. One line animate, one line shapes, and then a framework to help us build all this together. And if we take all of this, then our build time is whoop, even shorter. Cool. Now these three boxes of tasks uh, they're the traditional basis for interactive media. So, for instance, they were all available in Adobe Flash. So there's the Adobe Flash benchmark. We didn't have to build those. So where we should be spending time is over here. Now, um, Zim, Zim also adds, uh, as well as Adobe Flash, I uh, was using 190 custom classes. So Zim takes from those and adds uh, pages, layouts, responsive layouts, hotspots, swiping, damping, asynchronous calls, proportion, scaling, scrolling, and parallax. And if you add those on as well, so we don't have to code those anymore, you save even more time. Where we should be spending our time is over here on the right, on the apps, on the creativity, the UI, the UX, sketching it out, making assets, and of course coding it, the steps and logic. So rather than building the infrastructure, we should be spending time here, making our own custom classes and modules and refactoring and debugging, test launching, and so forth. Now that actually takes a fair bit of time, so I've added the plus, so the time to build continues on. For instance, Zim saved over 200 lines of code on a 1,500-line puzzle application. So that's about one-eighth. In other words, perhaps if it correlates, Zim might save us uh, time in, in the neighborhood of one-eighth. Cool, huh? There's support for Zim. We have documentation that expands open. You can read about this. It's obviously a very small portion of the documentation. There's Zim Bits, which is a magical set of tips, uh, common interactive media tasks. There's going to be 64 of them currently. There's almost 40. 
and then a basics workshop that will teach you about making games uh, with interactive media with no prior knowledge of even coding. Zim Capture series, this is now the first of the Zim Capture series, as well as a framework with Zim Frame that helps you with powerful, easy templates. I'm inventor Dan Zen. I'm available on chat when I'm around, as well as Facebook, GitHub, Twitter, Google Plus, WordPress. We've got a nice WordPress site and, and YouTube. What opportunities do we have? Well, we have opportunities to sponsor, promote, code, use Zim, contribute. Uh, it's open source on GitHub and teach. So Zim provides extra functionality to create JS, much like jQuery provides extra functionality to JavaScript and HTML. 80% of the top million sites use jQuery. Zim is a tool on the official CreateJS site, and CreateJS has been loaded billions of times. So we could save people many, 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 many hours if they were to use Zim with CreateJS. And at the moment, I don't believe there's any competitors for what we're doing here. So let's connect. I'm inventor Dan Zen. This has been a Zim capture, and there's more captures for you to see too. So please enjoy Zim and have a great day. Ciao.